now that we know how to create our first tracks, let's see what are our channel uh, options. So these two things have, both of these audio and MIDI, have the same options available. And the first things are mute and solo, so we can mute a track and solo a track. And the next one is very important. This red here, it allows us to record from this track. So if I have it red, it's enabled. If I click on it, I disabled it and it won't be able to record anything from this track. But more about this in the audio recording section of this course. The next option allows us to monitor what we are recording. Let's say I'm using a microphone, I'm recording my vocal to sing. In order to hear myself in my headphones, I need to click on this one. When I click on it, I enable monitor. And let me unmute the track. And now I'm sending this through my uh, speakers, uh, through my headphones, so I can hear what I'm speaking at the moment. Now, these two things, uh, R and W, are for automation. And I have a special section dedicated for automation in this course that you will learn about later on. But if I click on these, I basically enable recording automation and writing automation. The next option here says show lanes. This one is only available in Artist and Cubase Pro versions. And basically this one allows you to show multiple takes when recording. But again, more about this one in recording section as well. Now let's open channel settings. If I click on this option here, edit channel settings, this window pops up. Now the same window we get if we click on the instrument track as well. It's completely the same. So let's go to this audio track. If we go from left to right, first thing we see are inserts. And this is the place where we record plugins. So if I click on this, actually where we input plugins. If I click on any of these, I get the list of all the plugins available and in different categories. Now, let's say I want to add some delay, for example. I will go to you will delay, delay, delay. Here is delay. And let's say I choose ping pong delay. And that plugin gets added to my channel into inserts. Now, I can disable this plugin here by just bypassing it. It's still there, but it's not sending any effect to this channel. And I can access on this letter E to my effect settings. Now, the next one is channel strip. If I click here on channel strip, and I can see it right here as well. Um, if you think of a standard analog big mixer, this would be a vertical channel of an analog mixer. Uh, this is where its EQ is, and let's say um, some... Um, saturation knobs, uh, compressors, gates, whatever, it's available on that channel mixer. Now, don't worry if you don't know what these are, what are noise gates, for example, here, or compressors, what kind of compressors there are. In the mixing sections, we will go in detail into these. I will analyze most of Cubase mixing plugins. We will test different compressors. I will tell you how these work. For now, let's just have an overview of what this channel strip has. And the last thing here we will check out is equalizer. Cubase have a four band equalizer. And if I click on any of these buttons, let's say number one, I enable it. And then I can just click and drag it to add or cut frequencies. Now, as you can see, this is a shelf. It's a cutoff filter, right? So I cut out all the, the lows here. And I can change it's curved. So if I go here to this curve here, and I can select EQ band, I can go parametric, like typical parametric bell curve. I can now drag it and boost it with this curve as well. Now, as you can see here, I can see how many dBs I'm adding or cutting. I can see change the position, what frequency. And this, as you can see, this uh, equalizer goes from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and I can change its width so I can just click on the lower one and drag it to the left or right to make a wider or a narrower bandwidth okay now there is a let me show you one trick here um, 
We will talk a lot about shortcuts because I am really trying to teach you here how to get productive in Cubase. But for now, let's learn some basic shortcuts. If you press and hold shift, you can just change the width, the bandwidth, with just dragging your mouse up or down and just holding shift without anything changing. If you hold command on Mac or control on PC and you drag, See what happens. You stay at the same vertical line, and if you hold Alt or Option on Mac, and you go left or right, even though I'm just, you know, doing these circular movements, I'm constantly staying on this selected, um, on this selected horizontal line, no matter what's happening. So these are very, very convenient to have. And the last thing on EQ we're going to check out is this here, Bypass Pre-Filter. You need to have it enabled to do any low cuts or high cuts. So I have high cut, low cut. If I click on the knob, I enable it. I can drag it. So I hold my left click and drag it to the left and see I do the cut off. I cut out basically all the high frequencies and the same thing for the low one. See, if I drag it, I cut off low frequencies. So these are high pass and... and uh, low pass basically um and on the right side of this channel settings you have your sense so this is where uh, if you're using an external effects again we will talk more about these in the mixer section and in the effects section and mixing but for now let's get an overview this when you ha have se separate channels for effects this is where all of your reverbs or delays will appear when you send your signal to that external channel and then you get put some effect on it without having to insert any effect but again if this sounds confusing don't worry we will go through all of this and we will make it clear but this is where your sense are and in here in the upper menu we can see what's our input so i'm using my mono input one what's the name of the track and i can change it here and where am i sending it i'm sending it to my main stereo output and on the right hand side, we have the main volume um, knob and I can just slide it. So main volume slider, I can slide it up or down to change the loudness of the track. Again, at any time, if I don't want, if I want to go back to zero, I can just hold control or command and left click on it to go back to zero. We have panning options here so we can pan a track to the left or to the right. Again, control, command, click. We go back to default and again mute and solo options. Now this is how your edit channel settings will look in element version. Uh, now Cubase Pro allows you here in this settings menu to add more routing options here. But I will turn it off for now. And this would be some basics about channel settings. So see you in the next video.